the bull shark or scientific name Charcarinus locus can be found worldwide in fresh and saltwater environments but in the United States it's mainly found on the East Coast and the Gulf of Mexico which includes Charleston South Carolina as previously stated the bull sharks can be found worldwide they mainly can be found in tropical and subtropical warm shallow coastal waters and typically they like to stay within 100 feet depth so they don't like to go below 100 feet um, they do possess a unique ability to enter freshwater environments and due to this unique ability to survive in both salt and freshwater they can be found in rivers lakes and estuaries uh, they have a lot of common names, the Zambezi shark, the Swan River whaler, the Nicaragua shark, and the freshwater whaler. So a few interesting facts about bull sharks. While hunting, bull sharks will utilize the bump and bite technique. Basically, they'll repeatedly headbutt and bite their prey until that prey becomes immobilized. When attacked, they sometimes regurgitate prey and hopes that the attacker will be more interested in what they regurgitated rather than the bull shark itself. They do occasionally partake in cannibalism. So when food sources are running low, they'll sometimes eat younger bull sharks. They also rank number three for attacks on humans. This is mainly due because the environments they prefer, the shallow, warm, coastal waters, so they come in contact with humans quite often. A really interesting fact is that 12 bull sharks call an Australian golf course water hazard home. And you can see that down in the picture on the bottom right, the Carbrook Golf Course in Queensland, Australia. Since they can be in freshwater environments, they've been found in many rivers around the world. For example, they've been found 2,294 miles up the Amazon River, 1,700 miles up the Mississippi River, 340 miles up the Zambezi River, and a landlocked population in Lake Nicaragua. Unique attributes of the bull shark. Bull sharks are capable of osmoregulation, so they're able to maintain salt and water balance across membranes in the body. This gives the bull shark the unique ability to survive in both salt and freshwater environments. A lot of the bull shark's adaptations have to do with food. They're fierce predators. Their tail propels them forward at surprising speeds up to 25 miles an hour, which allows them to catch a lot of their prey. Also, their large size, broad heads, short snout, and small mouth with about 5,000 teeth allow them to utilize the bump and bite technique to stun and immobilize prey. They're very good at conserving energy by using the tidal flow. And this is learned at a very young age because bull sharks mate upstream. They're also able to slow down their digestion. So when food sources are low, they can avoid starvation by slowing down their digestion. Bull shark ecological facts. Normally, bull sharks will grow to be 7 to 11 feet in length. They weigh roughly 200 to 500 pounds. And normally, female bull sharks are larger than the male bull sharks. They live approximately 16 years. They're not very picky eaters. They'll pretty much eat anything. But mainly, they'll feed on small sharks, bony fish, crustaceans, dolphins, sea turtles, seabirds, and terrestrial mammals. Their main predators include humans, tiger sharks, and sandbar sharks, but these sharks will mainly eat juvenile bull sharks. And like we previously discussed, bull sharks will eat other bull sharks, but they also have to be on the lookout for saltwater crocodiles and large predatory fish. Bull sharks usually mate in fresh or brackish water during late summer or early autumn and they usually reproduce every two years with a 12 month gestation period. When bull sharks do deliver, they normally have one to 13 free swimming pups. 
And these pups will normally be 27 and a half inches at birth. They're not endangered, but they are already near threatened due to fishing pressure. Bull sharks are intentionally caught because people want their large fins, meat, skin, and liver oil. But a lot of times they're caught unintentionally as fishery bycatch.